and welcome to This Week in the Studio. I'm Amy Nicole and I am coming to you from finally sunny and not freezing South Texas. Very exciting. And I'm here to tell you everything that's going on this week in my sewing studio. First off, I'm wearing a lady skater today. This is a pattern by Kitchy Koo. This is actually a highly altered pattern so if you want to check out all the changes I made to the pattern uh, you can visit the blog post which will be linked uh, below and I actually polka dotted this fabric myself which is very exciting so it's very comfortable I love it for everyday wear that's what I'm wearing today first off this week I do have some tailoring this week mostly just repairs um, this children's jacket needs a new zipper, so I will have to order that because it's one of those ones that goes all the way up to a hood, to the hood, so it's kind of a weird um, length, so I will have to special order that. And the same girl's uh, son's jeans need a new snap, which got me thinking that I will maybe do snaps for my Roberts overalls. Um, you just heard me talk about those last week. I still needed to get the buttons for the hip closure, but we got more of these snaps anyways. The snaps can be pretty cool. So I think I might do that. We'll see how that goes. I've never put on those kind of snaps before, so um, hopefully that will work out good. Also this week I have a couple of Etsy orders that need to go out today actually. One of them is for my eco-friendly handmade shop, Honey Darlin, that you've heard me talk about before. Um, and the other one is for, no, I probably haven't talked about this on here, my husband and I actually have a vintage shop on Etsy where we do some refashion vintage refashion, repurpose vintage, and also just sell, we, do, we like to go to estate sales and flea markets and stuff, so we sell things that we find on there, so I have, I'll link that um, below, but I have a order that needs to be packed up for that, and as far as the recycling exchange goes, the planning is coming along, this week we are finalizing our timeline, so we usually launch during Fashion Revolution Week, which is in April, and this year we're going to give everyone, I think, a little bit more time to get their items back to the owner. Um, so keep a lookout for more information on that. If you don't know what the Restyling Exchange is, I host it with Pilar from Pilar Bear. And we, it's a global refashion swap. So you send something to be refashioned, you get something to be refashioned, refashion it and you send it back. It's very fun so keep on the lookout for signups for that. Uh, on the blog this week you will see a post about my second Melly Low top. This one is solid green and it's the long sleeve version. Be sure to go check that out. That went up yesterday. You can see that on the blog and on the channel. Um, I will try to link that somewhere either below or in the little thingy. And I am, need to take pictures for, uh, I have a backup of a bunch of things that need to be posted about that I haven't taken pictures of. One of them being this uh, Republic de Chiffon Marth blouse. I love it. I cannot wait to take pictures of that and show you guys. And also from Republic de Chiffon, this is the Gerard coat that I actually need to change the buttons on because I got different buttons for it. Um, also need to take pictures of this, which I also love. I wore it all winter. And this dress I made for my cousin Chelsea who designed all of my pattern booklets for the Patty Pocket skirt and help me with some writing on my website. We did a little bartering, so I made her this dress. It is beautiful. These are art gallery 
um, fabrics the April robes for art gallery. I just love the way the prints mix all together. So I got to try this on her this week and I just need to adjust the shoulders and then I can get that out to her. And I'll be working on a new post on the blog that will go up next week and that is the Olulu. I don't remember what the pattern's called. It's the romper that Olulu does. Um, I love this pattern for gifts for bachelorette parties and stuff so I can't wait to show you guys that. And personally, I have a opt-in cami that has been cut out forever that I need to finish. So I have a little bit, I finished some of my January projects early so I have a little bit extra time hopefully this week and I might just whip that out and get it done. And I am going to print and possibly cut out, start on my February project which is a new wallet. I'm going to be using the minimalist wallet pattern my noodle head. I'm so excited about this pattern. It's exactly what I've been looking for. Um, I'm going to sew up both versions, so super pumped about that. Also, this week I acquired um, some new fabric for free that my aunt was getting rid of. So I wanted to show you guys that. I haven't counted out the yardage yet, um, but I'm pretty excited. I picked this one. Um, she had a bunch of different stuff. Fabrics, but this one I thought the color combo was kind of interesting. Um, it's like a woven, um, it's, it's almost maybe like an upholstery weight fabric, but I thought it could be kind of an interesting dress of some sort. I don't know. But I'm really excited about this fabric. It is a cotton vintage with the quirkiest little print on it. You guys know I love quirky prints. This is so cool. I'm so excited about it. Uh, I can't wait to really open it up and see how much is here uh, and then think of something really fun to make it with. So that is everything that's going on this week in the studio. Oh, I was working on a bunch of gift stuff that I couldn't really talk about last week, but I got to give those out this weekend because we went to Maryland, my hometown, for my grandmother's 85th birthday. A surprise party so that's what that archer um, the pink button-down archer was for she loved it and also what I didn't show you guys because I didn't want her to see it uh, I made a beautiful dove blouse by Megan Nielsen for my sister uh, I'll try to get a little quick pick of that up here for you but I'm going to um, I did take some pictures of it before I gave it to her, so I will do a blog post about that. I didn't do video, but um, you'll be able to see that on the blog in the next few weeks or so. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you have a lot of fun things happening in your sewing studio this week. If you like this video, be sure to leave me a comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, I want to welcome, I have a whole bunch of new subscribers this week, which is so exciting. And I want to thank Lisa from And So On for sharing my channel. Uh, I'm so grateful to you and I just want to welcome all the new people, all the new folks to my channel. And uh, I'm super happy that you're here. Happy sewing everyone. Bye.